Hello everybody, Salty Walty is back. I'm going to um, try to re uh, reintroduce these launching animations in my videos. Last couple of times I have attempted to use these, I've got hits with uh, claims, uh, and I don't exactly remember from who, but I always get in trouble when I tend to use those launch animations. So, uh... Yeah, I'm going to try to reintroduce those onto my channel and see what happens. So, the suit we have here today is the Jim Gather Road from Battle Alliance. It is an original suit to that. It is a raid in GBO2. It comes with two uh, beam, uh, beam spray guns, a saber, uh, uh, a main saber uh, melee weapon, two sabers, and uh, head Vulcans. Uh, the head Vulcans are really good. I forget to keep using them because the standard James Head Vulcans ain't that good. So, uh, these ones have shorter amount of ammo, but they stun incredibly fast. Um, the main version of the uh, beam spray guns, they stun, uh, but they have a high heat rate, so you can't really use them a whole lot without overheating. Uh, this form is rapid fire. Uh, it does a really good ship damage. Uh, I feel I feel like these dual uh, beam spray guns should be used by pretty much every other gym. Uh, I would gladly give up. Uh, I would love to use these dual beam spray guns on a gym cannon because that'd be gross and very very fun. I'm pretty sure this thing has a dodge roll, but I honestly can't remember off the top of my head. Um, as you can see, it has pretty decent melee power. This downswing, though, that it has, takes an it takes a long time to come out. And uh, it can get you into trouble. Because uh, you're going to see me get countered out of, out of it a lot. Um... It has such a long wind-up time, so it's really it's really hard to land it if you got more than one or two people on you. Uh, a lot of the time, it's guaranteed you're going to get countered out of it if the uh, if both players you're fighting have um, if both uh, players have boost still. So it's one of the, it's one of those little gambits you gotta you gotta be careful with on the suit. You do not want to, because uh, this suit is not tanky. Um, it does not have a whole lot of health to it. Does not have a whole lot of armor to it. Um, Lore-wise, I think it's described as a pre-production gym. So essentially, this would have been one of the gyms you seen during the um, you seen during the uh, attack on Javuro before they started. Uh, launching them out like the one that you've seen with the uh, uh, gun of beam rifle this is essentially one of those um, and it, it it does do good it can do very very well against pretty much uh, uh, raids and supports it, this thing can chew up chew them up uh, gotta be careful of generals generals will absolutely spank you so it's just, it's a nice fine line. It's not broken. Uh, there was a suit they, oh yeah, it was the Gym Command Light Armor. Uh, that was, that is still obnoxious to fight. You do not want to get hit by the Gym, uh, Gym Command Light Armor. That thing will hurt you. It's neutral down will hit for insane amount of damage. And it travels very, very far, so it's going to be a little harder for you to um, get away from it when you're trying to dodge it. So it's just one of those suits you've got to be very careful while fighting. This suit uh, did not release a, in a broken state, which is great. But, um... Yeah, I knew I should have not stayed up for last night, but I but I uh, did, so I'm probably going to go take a nap after this. But, um, yeah, I, I die a lot in this match. Uh, 
Dom, get out of my way. Your your chunkiness is too big. So there's this one Dom in from Dawn of War, or yes, Dawn of War. But uh, no, there's this one Dom in um, GBO one that we we don't have. I would like back, and it was called the uh, Dom HC or Dom Heavy Combat. Now it used all the same weapons as the standard Dom, but it also had a shield and a Sturm Faust. I want that Dom back. I really do. I really enjoyed that Dom. It was a very fun Dom. Uh, I preferred it over the normal one. Uh, mainly for the shield, even though it was a small shield. Um, but I felt, I felt more content because you do have that stern power for massive damage. Stern power in GBO one were insanely strong. A little hard to hit. They didn't travel that fast. And sometimes uh, latency would screw you over in GBO one. But the Dom HC was a very fun suit. I really miss that suit. Um, but yeah, I would totally be down if uh, BB Studios decided to let other suits use the double beam spray guns. Uh, these are very, very fun weapons. Especially the, the rapid fire, that mode. That mode's cool. I like it. There's one other beam type... Uh, beam spray gun i would love for them to add and that would be like an unfocused version where uh lore wise the beam spray gun can fire in a shotgun pattern uh if you guys didn't know the prototype gundam also has an attachment for the beam rifle to turn it into a shotgun so i would definitely like to see those uh added to, uh 100 because i think that would uh add for a lot of fun especially for a beam spray gun uh, I would love to be a, uh, uh, what is that suit? The, um, the, uh, the Night Seeker with the, the pixie, uh, Uzis on its, uh, as a sub-weapon. I think that's the raid version. I would love to be that bitch with the, uh, uh, the dual <laughs> beam pistols as a, as a weapon. Could you imagine bouncing between the, the pixie's pistols? Or the machine pistols to the sub weapon of the rapid fire beam spray guns. That'd be so much damage. I want that. That'd be cool as hell. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is a solid suit. Um, it was a token pack suit, so it's not in the regret ticket shop yet. So you guys are going to have to wait probably another year before you'll be able to get your hands on it if you miss said pack. But otherwise, it is a good solid suit. Um,. I, if you have the gym command light armor, you, you're probably better off choosing that one. It's a little bit, it's far more squishy uh, than this suit, but I feel like you'd be better off due to the better uh, downswing and just how insanely damaging that downswing is on that kit. Uh, so yeah, you, you would definitely probably be better off with that suit. So uh, this is still a very fun one if you can get the hang of it. And it's got that really cool counter you just seen. That's an insanely fun looking counter. Uh, they did a good job on that one. But yeah, uh, that's my thoughts on the Jim Gatherode. Very fun, a little squishy, but it's got it's got power when it needs it. So uh, yeah, make sure you check this suit out once you get get a chance. It's solid and all that. So uh, yeah, we so uh, so. My name's Salty, and I am signing off, and I shall talk to you guys later.